Highly disturbing content. My favorite. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to see some terrifying shit. Really. This is gonna be interesting, like, some heck of a gun. I don't know why, people just saying bolt blades completely is weird for me. See annoying girl running. Awesome, you know, that kind of friend you never see so big today. But it just kinda works out, cause you've known each other for so long. We used to rock to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would always sleep much for me, and I got tired of waking her up. But if she going to chase me after like this, I must be better off running away. However, I just saw an island in front of the crosswalk, and says, so I have you catch up to me, and she ain't got no boobies. Why am I playing another dating game? It worked so well the last two times, huh? <laughs> I overslept again! Of course you did, you freaking hathead. You didn't bowhead? I don't know. I've heard of bowlegged, but I've never heard of freaking stupid. Yeah, I have. Alright. I'm bowlegged. <laughs> I love my life. Sometimes. Sometimes I love my life. I'm gonna go back on that, like, in a couple minutes. Whenever this, whenever this hits the fan, stopped it away for you. Hey, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's because I completely was. That's mean, Bolt. Hey, now that I've, I really regret that being my name now. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna go through this thinking of the main character as a freaking furry. <laughs> I'm not a furry. <laughs> Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, and I don't want them to keep through a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. Yeah, I waited for nothing. A true man waits for nothing. Okay? No amount of Sayori got a girl like a double-A battery. Alright. Full of energy, but again, she's double-A. I hate myself for that joke, but you know what? It needed to be made... And also, it didn't need to be made at all. I hate my life. <laughs> hey, cat, how you doing? Rocky, how you doing? All right. Whatever you say, Sayuri. Hee hee hee. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, this is just the I just I just realized how much I hate this loop of music. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. That's not true. I know. Let's join the Doki Doki Literature Club. And freaking die. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's talking about. Ah. Frickin' Thorough Roacher Chocolates are pretty good. My dad's girlfriend likes candy. I like my dad's girlfriend. <laughs> and sorry he likes to worry, no, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Hey. The way this world is going, you don't need to have skills to go to college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? <laughs> and I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. I don't care. Why am I putting myself... Somebody please tell me why I'm going to put myself through the honey pop, um... The honey pot bolt, um, bendy thing. This is basically my replacement for bendy since you have to freaking buy the chapters I just found out. Mm 
Mm. That was good. And I'm not gonna let the cat play with this little ball I just made, even though cats love trash. I'm sorry, Rocky. I know how much you love this ball in my hand, but I'm I'm gonna keep it in my hand. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. No, I have the least promise you to try a little. Okay, I don't care. Why did I let myself get lectured by this? Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't relent her. I guess seeing her worry so much makes me ease my mind a bit, even if she does exaggerate anything. The school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. I pack my things, stare blankly at the wall, clubs. Sorry, wants to. Guess I had no choice to start with the handling. <laughs> Spacing out. All right. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left, and yeah. Hey, that's kind of mean. Saying that I'm worse than you is just kind of downputting, especially since I think of you as like the worst person I know. Allegedly, seeing as this far into the game, you're literally the only person I know. You don't need to wait up for me. I should probably just like, you know, zoom through this stuff just to figure out. Um. I'm glad there's a backlog. Well, I thought you might need to encourage it, so I thought, you know, you know what? Well, then you could join my club! Yeah, there is no way I'm going to join your club. Yeah, meanie! Okay. <laughs> the Literature Club. The Doki Doki Literature Club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure that I don't care. Since she was the first one to show interest in the club after she proposed uh, for the one, she inherited the title of VP. I don't. True Jackson. All right. I never watched that show growing up. I don't even know what it was about. I don't care. It's about uh, it's about a VP. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Uh, I'm gonna do the animal club. Anime is a wonderful thing. I kind of told. Oh my gosh. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Well, you know what? Cupcakes are a wonderful thing, aren't they, Rocky? Except you're not allowed to have one because then you'd be crazy. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell Sirius. I can't tell Sirius. Really? That much of her head or she's so cunning as to have all this planned out? She's probably just cunning, seeing as how I think this game will go. I haven't seen anything of this game. So it's going to get really... I hate Bunny Whore. I, <laughs> I just realized this is a terrible idea. Uh, unless I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly followed Sari across the school and upstairs to section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for 30 or... I don't care. Rocky, I'll hang out with you in a bit. Just don't jump up here, because then my computer's going to go whack. The new member is here. Don't call me a new member. I glance around the room. Girl number one. Yep, that's how I think of everyone. <laughs> everyone in my mind. <laughs> Welcome to the literature. This would be so much funnier if you could, like, see what I was looking at specifically. You know what? It doesn't even matter. I'm just looking at the words at this point. I don't even care. You brought a boy? Yes, she did. Oh, you're worse than Sayuri. Alright. Way to kill the atmosphere. You know what? Girls suck. Ugh. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. You know what? I'm not even gonna doubt that one because you got the freaking the the, the small one in the middle, the the shy one off to the right, and I don't know the the chick with green eyes. I like green. Yeah, boy. What you want? All right. What are you looking at? Uh, I'm looking at nothing. Ha ha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got you there. If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Hump. The girl with the sour, at sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Yes, Rocky. Do you have a problem? <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. Come hither. Come hither, cat. Come hither, cat, please. 
Please, I'm lonely. <laughs> you guys made me yell at my cat. Alright. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayuri. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sorry, he says that quietly in my ear and then turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy, and this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Of course, it's the freaking smart girl, who's also freaking shy and self-conscious and plays with her hair, which is also very long. I think I like long hair. Why do I talk about these things on camera? <laughs> Yuri, who is comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Saru and Natsuki. It's nice to meet the both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, isn't that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Bolt. Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> we do know each other well. We really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, and I don't care. So I'm leaving her smile. <laughs> you too, Monica. Come sit down, won't we made you say sit next to I don't Hey, I made them, I'll get them. Yeah. Cupcakes are freaking great. Okay, I actually like how they drew the faces in this one. But I don't I don't know, I don't get why everybody has to be at a, at um that specific angle, literally everybody's face is at that angle. But oh well. And the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. You know what? If your Lion April has proven me anything, anime characters do not look good head on. <laughs> As Sari mentioned, it's been widened and nobody cares. Once he gabs a rap tray, no, Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready today? Whoa! Yeah, the foil off, it's a light, it's a bunch of cupcakes and they look like little cats. Cats, you say? My cat hates me now. <laughs> okay. The whiskers were drowned with the icing, little pieces of chocolate you used to make ears. So cute! When's the crap gonna hit the fan? Dang it! Seriously, just sat, start killing each other already. <laughs> one, of my, one of my friends made <laughs> You know what, heck, I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, I, t I mentioned one of these around one of my friends, and he's an anime lover such as myself. And he made a, he made a penetration joke. <laughs> like... <laughs> I think he mentioned something about it being a, da a dating game, and then he was like, and uh, one of the girls get uh, penetrated, <laughs> and by that I mean they f she fucking stabs herself, and I'm like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> uh, I love my friends, I love the people that I consistently, I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. I finally bite down, and the icing is sweet and full of flavor, I wonder if she made herself. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? Oh, yay! The Sundere Lolly Combo! Haven't I heard this somewhere before? It's not like I made them for you or anything. I thought you technically did, Sayuri said. Well, maybe. Mm, huh? <laughs> san Sama? Huh? <laughs> not for you, you know, you dummy. Uh. Alright, alright. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I want to, I want to just not. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission, and I don't care. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Yay, she's very shy. <laughs> That's adorable. All right, I meant it that you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is... This is a very cutesy game. But I know it's just gonna not do that in a little bit. I think, okay, one thing I don't like about these though is that I feel like I'm reading a freaking visual novel so far. Except there's not even anything happening. 
And there's a crappy piece of music right behind me. It's fun and exciting for everyone, really. You know what? You're right. I've wanted to die for a while now. Not really. Okay. You know what? They had a disclaimer at the beginning. And I don't- I think- I definitely should have showed that if you're depressed, if you're actually depressed, like I used to be, um, or have serious anxiety issues, or don't like the sight of, you know, disturbing material, you should probably stop. In fact, it's 15 minutes into the video, you probably already stopped. <laughs> we all know you guys don't watch my videos. Anyway. I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. And that's exactly why you shouldn't like something, because of the politics surrounding it. And you know what? You can dislike something all you want, and you can not give it patronage. You know what? The faces head-on in this game aren't that bad. I don't know why I keep getting these two mixed up, because, you know, I don't care. Now I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club again. It's hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all, all the effort in starting something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature, and of course, all the new members get slaughtered. I don't know. <laughs> uh, when's it gonna get to the cool stuff? Yeah, we'll do our best, you know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees, and she's got a little fang there. The small one with the pink hair. Dang, she's cute. Anyway. They're all cute. At least the girls are cute, I guess. Alright. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Yeah, that's cool. They did find a very diverse cast of characters and a bunch of cute girls for me to choose from so I can woo and then, I don't know, reach the end of the game and manipulate them all. Because, you know what? That's what dating games are all about. The real experience. I want to... I hate myself. <sighs> okay. What kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read... Manga. <laughs> Natsuki said... It looks like she wanted to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reaction. <laughs> well, I can change. I spoke without thinking after seeing your set smile. <laughs> what about you, Yuri? Uh... Maybe she likes reading Yuri. Alright. My favorites are usually novels. Okay, you know what? I like fantasy. I, I love fantasy. I love Yuri. No. <laughs> I... I don't even want to get too deep into this game. <laughs> uh, I've mentioned the Magic of Xan series before, I'm sure. I love that series completely. It's a world based around puns, which is kind of hard sometimes, but not really. It it makes it almost seem like it's not freaking stupid but it is and that's funny sometimes she seems so reserved and timid that the moment i watched it and her eyes find comfort in the world and books not people I, you know, I like a lot of things elements such as usually immerse deep psychological elements oh yeah oh no this is this this is oh no I read a horror book once. At this rate, you w yeah, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri, so someone as gentle as you. I could, I guess you could say that, but if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I can really put that- Okay. Is this where it takes the turn? Is this the turn? I just... Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? <laughs> what gives you that idea? <laughs> that uh, pupil dilation right there, or at least the fact that your pupils are generally smaller than, you know what, never mind. You left a piece of crap, <laughs> you looked like you were working on a poem called, don't say it out loud, and give that back. Fine, 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 fine. Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is you just you, 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 Natsuki, you write your own poems. Well, I guess I'm <laughs> What's with the Sundere Lolly combo? Why do they gotta do this to me? And of course, I'm just a nice guy, and nobody knows. This never works like this in real world. 
See, soon the rays don't exist. At least I sure freaking hope not. <laughs> not where I live. Even like I'm not a confident rider. Sharing that level of writing, I don't care. I really feel like just... I'm just gonna like chop through this part, really. I guess it's the same for, uh, I really wanted to read everyone's poems. Okay, I have an idea everyone. Not seen lyrically, let's go home and write a poem of our own next time we meet with Sarah's evidence even. Um, yeah, let's do it! But I have Uh, isn't that right, Bolt? Monica smiles warmly at me again. That's still one problem. Eh, what's that? We haven't made a blood pact yet! Quickly, now, let's draw a pentagram on the floor and summon Satan himself so as to bond us forever in the depths of hell. Now that, now that we're, oh my gosh. Why do I have to stumble over literally every sentence I say except that? I never said I would join this club. Sorry you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... I lose my train of thought as a bunch of girls look at me very sad. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Humph! Bolt! You all! I'm defenseless against these girls! Hey Rocky, how you doing? You hungry? Because I put food in your bowl two minutes ago and you decided to not eat it until it got stale and you didn't want to eat it? How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Hey buddy! You know what? You wanna keep- you wanna watch the game? You wanna watch me play the game? I hope so, cause nobody else ever does. That's it. That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Because women. The man is always the head, but the woman is the neck. And the woman can make the man Look anywhere he wants. <laughs> anyway, one by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yay. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment, but you write horror. You read horror. I'd be super pissed. That makes it official. Why does she do this pose every time? Like, seriously, like, you're getting, you're getting stuff in, uh, pink girl, pink hair, pink hair's, uh, mouth. And you're kind of fl flying your skirt everywhere. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, Rocky. I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. Welcome to the Literature Club. Oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think it, we can officially end this meeting. And everybody remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring the next meeting so we can all share. Monica, look, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the cast star with my mediocre writing skills? I feel I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, I don't care. Yeah, l let's walk home together. Yay. Alright, now that we've already gone home, let's... Sairi, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy? Yes, you probably will, because you're a very one-dimensional character who's probably gonna get a couple of dimensions added on throughout this experience. Uh, I'm sure good fortune will nobody, uh, I guess, starts writing a poem. Alright. Anyway. Oh, cool. Doki Doki! Alright. You know what? Okay. This is gonna be interesting. Let's, uh... Hmm. Smile. Okay, let's see. I don't, I don't know. Unstable. <laughs> Childhood. Uh. These are gonna get um, just I don't even know games <laughs> that was pretty freaking funny kawaii 
Uh, sure. Screw it. Let's just... Determination. But of course. Um... Vitality. Boop. Anime. You know what? I like her. Let's see if we can get along for her. Uh... Fluffy. Eh... Fantasy, she likes fantasy. Climax. Alright. Screw it, fantasy. Oh, cool. Uh... Rainbow. Unrest... What am I doing? <laughs> um... Suicide. Yeah, I think this is... This is where it starts getting odd. Infallible. Um... Tenacious... Tenacious D, I'm the pick of destiny. Tenacious. Uh, let's see. Vivid... Sticky beauty. Uh, let's see here. Giggle... What am I doing? Okay, we finally got to the last one. Uh, peaceful. Yay. I like those words. I, sh I should have stopped it right there, jeez. Hi again, Bolt. Glad to see you didn't run away on us, haha. <laughs> Don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. It was the last to come in, so I'm just gonna save my game. Yeah. I don't even know anymore. Everyone's already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Bull. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for a commitment for you. You know what? I did this with Firewatch. I'm gonna do it again. I'm just gonna keep playing until I find a good stopping point and then chop the video in half. Cause that's good. That's good editing skills. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. He deserves any slack. Yes, I, I do. Yeah, I didn't! And last year, too, I don't know if you just plan on coming out now or what, but if you didn't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps your manga collection in the club room. <laughs> manga and manga. Manga is literature. So if you defeat it. <laughs> Both always gives his best as, he, as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room, and literally everything in this. Sorry, that's because your room is messy and distracting, and you're just okay. I don't know anymore. How come you and Bolt become a good friend? Um. Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Alright. Oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? What? <laughs> Me? Not really. <laughs> Don't be shy, it's really nothing. What is it? I sound like a big deal, or is it not really not? Uh, what do I do? <laughs> it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a present surprise. It makes me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright, you know what? That's how I am. I'm very reactionary. Ooh, a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Because she's timid, and shy girls are pretty dang cute. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Very thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book, look at it, and realize that it's terrible. <laughs> I look forward to hearing what you think. Now everyone's settled, I'm gonna look at this book and be very disturbed because intense expression. <laughs> Let's look at this book. Ugh, I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh. She seems annoyed by something. I it's in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in here? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the painting for keeping her collection organized if she sees his mix? Manga. 
You raid manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things you can't really admit you're really into until you figure out where other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Yes, because I brought it up at some point. Because it's kind of, it's, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst the stack of various puts on the stack. There it is! <laughs> Natsuki snatches it out of my hand and then turns into the- I don't care. How much better? Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. You know what? I think this one's maybe my favorite out of all three, four, five, four. I love myself the most. All right. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box. Her favorite. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Wow. Hey, 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 I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Bolt. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. I'm... I'm... I'm not. You know what? Don't judge a book by its cover. Is... Uh, freaking... <laughs> the, the main... The main point of this game. I'll show you exactly why. She shoves the book into my hands and expects me... In a colorful attire, and see his speeding remole. Don't just stand there. Ooh ah. Then she takes a seat against the wall behind the window, so it's packed on the ground next to her. And she wants me to freaking. She wants me to freaking read it. Can't read at the same time like that. Eh, hey, what's, what's that? I, I guess it's you to be close together like this. Uh, don't just say that. You made me feel weird about it. Natsuki crossed her arms and sick is an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. But now, not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. And I see a girl freaking stab herself. And claiming additional space while she hopes I don't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and throw it all fuck my head? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already freaking killed myself a couple times, you know? Typical slice of life affair. I grab these since I don't care about slice of life. What's the point of having a normal uh, watching an anime if it's about a normal person that you can just do be yourself? Sweet, you think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things, like there's a really funny chapter where there's such a guy in an ice cream shop, but you really have to get to know the characters. Besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Then they get all the backstories, and then the romance starts to happen. That's what makes her so good. There's so many touching parts. <laughs> I was about to... I'm gonna stop thinking. Turn the brain off. Alright. Turn off the instant comeback machine, Colin. I mean, Bolt Blaze. Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, wait, what's that supposed to mean? Ooh, ah? Makes me judge. I didn't see you at your full power. This isn't even my final form! Seems to be it's about baking! Yeah, getting baked! Doesn't want to miss a thing, yeah. What does it matter? I don't know, I was just curious, since you're into bacon too, that's just a coincidence, I happened to get him back to you. Like I would have gotten into something because it's in a MAGA. I feel sad for someone that impressionable. Ha <laughs> ha Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, out of all the hobbies to pick from manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Like, um... Never mind. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh. We read on the floor for a few minutes, and now she's looking at me like that. And she's looking at me with those eyes. Alright. Why do I... I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. This is sharing something with someone else. I've always I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up something I enjoy. What do you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't? What? 
It's okay, Rocky. I'm fine. I'm just slowly losing my mind to the cuteness. Okay. The cutesy art style of this. Oh, her face changed. I actually wasn't expecting that. Um, that's not... It's just a visual novel so, so far. Rocky, don't do something dumb, please. My switch is up there. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't do anything I would do either. That's also some dumb stuff. Just don't do anything, please. Yeah? Okay. What is it, buddy? Oh. Well, I wouldn't really know. I, okay, I turned off my touchpad. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. You don't have any friends, do you? Because you're a Sundere piece of crap with no boobies. Anyway. I need to stop doing this to myself. I'm sorry, Rocky. You have sensitive ears, don't you? My guy can ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Hey, you still haven't grown out of that yet? You know, Rocky, don't you just hate that? I still play video games. I love Kirby. Kirby's freaking cool. Kirby's a freaking black hole. <laughs> Makes me want to punch him in the face. Oh, I kind of all those kind of people. Honestly, it takes some kind of effort. And I'm a loser, but you know what? Huh? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't know what dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So... I'm not doing myself because of you. <laughs> Baka. Alright. It's 37 freaking minutes. I've been looking at this cutesy art crap. It's not even crap. It, okay, it kind of is. Just, it's not as interesting yet. Ahaha, <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. One of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. She always feels a bad for her since she's so unlucky, but of course, it gets especially bad when, uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. I should just finish, just finish this chapter. Not to because voice sparkles was inside, man. It's a stark contrast to her usually bashful tone. But if she's not used to showing her favorite manga, that's kind of, I can understand why. Haha! <laughs> this is very Japanese. <laughs> <clears> that <throat> makes me smile. Well, okay, everyone. Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, come on. Could your timing be a little bit worse? Just need to make sure we're having enough time. Oh, you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> ah! Nahatsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. <laughs> all right. I guess. Stop here for now. I'm sorry. I just thought of something. I closed the book. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Ah, uh, yeah, but... Monica just said, Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Alright. Is that really alright? I say this mostly because I didn't really plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course! It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Uh, and if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Like Mark? Eh, I'm on part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind some, some, some shows. You gotta get all the Voltron! Gotta keep up with the Voltron! Alright. Why am I more scared if I don't finish? Alright then. I stand up, I return to where I put my stuff, and carefully slip the book in my bed. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I were twice. I. Gaga haga. Can you do something to share with? I can't wait. Yeah. So this is an wrinkle shade of blue flame torn from a spiral notebook, and Monica wrote hers on a composition notebook, and I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Ooh. Rectally comply as well. I do the same myself. And now we get to... Who should I show my poem first? <laughs> you know what? I like Natsuki. Even though I know that we're all probably going to be dead by the end. 
I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair I shared mine with her first. Huh? Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. <laughs> What's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more careful if yours was really bad. Oh, you were supposed to be showing you dumb poems and make me go hot. Well, it's not good, but oh. I thought, I thought she was going to be critical. She liked my poem. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Natsuki. Thanks, Sundere girl. Thanks, the Sundere lolly. All right. You just, you, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go on notice and get to the world like you're all self-important. Yeah, pretty sure you never actually said that. I must say mostly to myself, Natsuki must really hate me or something, or maybe she's just a freaking tsundere because, you know, those exist in Japan, or whichever universe this is. I can't figure out if it's a winner or a loss, and it's been freaking 40 minutes I've been playing this game. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Girl, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monica, oh my god. But that's about it. Okay. That's... Yeah? Are you hungry? Or do you just want attention? I can give you attention. But I already gave you food like a while ago. Yeah. I told you they weren't gonna be, you weren't gonna like it. And you know what? That had a pretty deep meaning. You know what? I did like it. Just be honest. People can do... People are too caught up in what other things can do. And they try too hard. People try. And that is just about it. You see? But... Yeah, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But that isn't the point of poems to have an expression for themselves. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Hey, that would be nice, huh? Yeah. Sorry, Rocky. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. The other nice thing about simple writing is it put more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for right in the end, but it makes it fall flat on purpose. Oh. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess I meant more, I guess went, more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro! I'm glad you learned something. And I didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I am trying to humor her with the last comment. I don't really thought, oh, I don't care how old anyone is, because, you know, they're still, they're, they're all still legal age, right? I hope so, because, you know, I'm willing to look forward to child mutilation. Just go down the list of the girls I like, alright. Hmm. And there he stares at the poem, a minute passes. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. This is gonna be really awkward, but I love awkward things, and that's why I like Yuri a little bit. But, yeah, I think I'm still going for Natsuki, even though we're all just gonna be dead in the end. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Just guess that it might be after reading it. So it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Murders are facing your hands. I couldn't help but notice it's been seven minutes, and I haven't gotten anywhere. It might take a year or a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I didn't really notice. Um, what were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through them myself, I learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing ever is that it's just that was a very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. 
Once Harry finished her train of thought in a diminished style of change, her stammering is completely gone, and uh, she sounds like an expert, but of course it's not like you can be right for. There are so many different skills and techniques, you can go into writing and use a poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most important challenge in poem. But I don't care because I'm probably never going to be writing a poem. I'm biased? Well, never mind. I should probably be talking about people like that. Sorry. Fine. No, I'm not sure if you're just a me or not Suki. No. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. It's kind of funny. After all, this isn't supposed to be a literature poem. A ghost, a ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow of bathing. I, it must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. What the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have such terrible- WHAT THE HECK?! I wasn't thinking that at all. It took a long time to read. Well, I don't read script very often, and your handwriting is very pretty. I like the poem, even though it's short and very descriptive, and I don't care. Excuse me, as I- Let's just go with Sari. And uh, look through the backlog a little bit. I didn't even thought of that. That's more solemn putting it away. It's comfort lingering on the pen. I'm just talking about the meaning of the poems instead of letting you, you know, figure it out for yourself like most art and poems should be. And this is a good poem. Bold new to share the your first time. Aha, uh -huh. I know I'm good on my first time. <laughs> I need to stop. It's time to stop. Alright. I spent 50 minutes of this just straight. I don't know when to stop. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course. Not really into yet, yet. Does it mean to see? It's like I said before, Bolt. Save your game. I don't care, there's nine pages of this. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Just trying new things. Like that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Suri. I'm not sure if anyone actually cares, but I'm probably. I know I don't. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yeah. Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. The way you go through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me. <laughs> I look above the skies blue, and you scared me from thought, so see where my trunks be too. Hey, if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a guess, but did you wait until morning if the morning directed? Just a little bit. And I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> It wasn't bad. It was pretty funny. It had a rhyme. Breakfast. Alright. Now I get to go to Monica. Uh, no one, because I hate Monica. Not really. I don't even know Monica, seriously. It's like they thought that... Like new activities, things you can do better. I'm always listening. I'm always listening. <laughs> don't be right now. I've been playing this too long. Seriously, it's been almost an hour. And it's much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, I want to share your poem. <sighs> Don't worry, we're all, we're all a little embarrassed today, you know? It's just sort of barrel when we get past you. Yeah, that's true. Rocky, you like just laying down anywhere you want, huh? Where are you going? No, no, no. Lay down where you used to want to be. Don't get in my clothes basket. Okay. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, Bolt. Really. 
It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh jeez. No, 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 it kind of makes me think something that's Suki would write. And she's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. Aha, uh -huh. if you say so. Yep. Find a chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Hey, good old Shel Silverstein. Yeah. You're even sad. Sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to it. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I guess I'm sure I'll end up with Shish Yuha. Take a while before I decide to click past all of this so I can get to the stabby bits. Aha, aha, aha. I'm, you, know, you say you're not very good, but I'm sure you're going to be like the best poem writer ever. Either that or you're going to be... Oh my gosh. A noisy man, she, the direction the back will protrude. Hole in the wall. It could have been me. See the direction the spark spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with the permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into every everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking... What the heck? So what do you think? It's, um... It's kind of creepy. A little bit. But you know what? An epiphany? You know... Can she mention her boyfriend? That appears kind of coming out strongly. It's better friends. Alright. Uh, your ring is... She speaks on a point. And just force yourself to do something paper, write something down on paper, force yourself to play a video game on camera so you can get views and, and get money even though you don't even have AdSense anymore since everyone under 10,000 views. Adpocalypse! YouTube kinda sucks! But it makes sense, I get why they're doing that, it's just inconvenient. For me, not like I was getting anything before, at least I know for sure that I'm never gonna get any money off this. <laughs> Glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's just as if everyone was judging me for my mediocre writing abilities, even if they're just being nice, they're waiting for my coming. It is a literature club, after all. I saw it. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sari and Monica, their eyes land, their eyes land on. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, wrist sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch their expressions change. Furrow and frustration, in my Yuri smiles sadly. What is this language? Eh? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you believe the list of symbols for something is clear about the feeling of giving up? How can that be cute? I don't know, it's just meant the language, I guess it's trying to say something nice. Hey, we don't see the hands of the language. I've been playing this game for the better half of an hour, and by the better half, I mean 53 freaking minutes. 50. 54 freaking minutes. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time, I spent a long time, I spent a long time before this video went up having to edit it. A very long time. The first three videos, there's definitely going to be three in here. I'm sorry, Rocky. Did I scare you? I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. Which I haven't yet. And Bull like my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. That's what you said in Shinda. Oh, I didn't realize you were so infested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Ooh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Bulls appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh, and how I know that you didn't appreciate my advice more. Are you just that full of yourself? <laughs> no, I, I was full of myself. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. 
Ooh. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose brooms magically grew a size bigger as soon as balls started showing up. Uh, not saying so I'm not serious. So this doesn't evolve you. <laughs> I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both turned towards me as if I, they just noticed I was standing there. Bolt, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this would never happen in the first place. Cat, what are you doing? What are you doing in my clothes? Rocky, why? What is the point in making your poems all convoluted to no reason? And the meaning should jump out of the reader and of course them have to figure it out. Help me explain it to her bold way. Hey, there's a reason for me having so many big and expressive words in our feelings. Those are for personal narratives. So you can make yourself feel like you have a good life, even though you don't. The only way to convey complex feelings and the meaning most effectively, even though that's not actually true, you're both kind of wrong. They work the same way in different ways. They work, they're both effective. Well, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? Not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think highly of me. Help me, Sayori! <laughs> Do it. Natsuki Dra <laughs> Since that I turned to Yuri. Yuri But Yuri's expression is so defensive I can't write. Sorry Yeah Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Well, well that's her problem. This doesn't this isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair to, for others to interject their own feelings in our conflict. Yeah, unless Sari wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up trick she's being. She would never. It is your immaturity that makes her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you're my guest. You're my friends. I just want you to get along and be friends yourselves. Because friend triangles are always the greatest things in the world. <laughs> ah! So many feelings, so few words, and not so much and beautiful pictures in your heads. Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? Because there's no right or wrong answer, and you know, things are rarely black and white. Even though that's an overgeneralization, and right overgeneralizations are normally some of the least fictional, least truth-filled things. And you're sleeping in my bag, man. What the heck? All right. Also. <laughs> <laughs> not to get cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boots are the same as they always are. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with Yuri's boots? <laughs> Big and me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry stands Trump. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. She'll go make some tea. Not to keep sits down. <laughs> This is why Sari is vice president. She can just make everyone shut the heck up. <laughs> Boobs! I'm terrible. Why have I been playing this game for an hour? She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. And you know what? That's exactly how Tolkien is. Not Tolkien. The guy. Is it Tolkien? It's not Tolkien, that's the guy who wrote Lord of the Rings, dang. Whoever, whoever, um, directed the movies, that guy, yeah. <laughs> that makes two of us, you can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to gnaw. Such a j- Oh no. Oh no. She's gonna lead the death parade. Okay everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing the one? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Well, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was neat talking about this stuff with everyone. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something for your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better! I think to myself, I did learn a little more about kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job of impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Bolt! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. 
when Sayuri beams at me, it truly has been a while since Sayuri and I spent this much time together. I really should have just streamed this on an off day in which I had literally nothing to do and I was home alone. Uh huh. I can't say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayuri, about what happened earlier? Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki, does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. It's really the first time I've seen him fight like that, and it's because there's a boy in the room and they both will impress me because I have a massive personality. <sighs> hey. Quit moving around in there, man. I don't wanna have to get cat hair off of like everything I wear. That sucks. Just, just don't crap in my stink. <laughs> Thresh and I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Bolt, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is makes me <coughs> And I think everyone really likes you too. That's that's bull crap. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. And I don't care. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but it doesn't really need to stop there. Now let's just see what I patch Sayuri on this. See, see, I see, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's do this. Alright. Am I allowed to, like, you know. Save. Save it, boy. Alright, quit. Yes, I wanna quit. 